to train in here or outside or any place. You still train, don't you? I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna train indoors no more. I just ain't gonna do it, that's all. But look, Muggs, you got a chance to be the champ of the Golden Gloves this year, ain't you? Yeah, I got a chance, all right. But I ain't gonna get to train that stubby old hole up there. I gotta do it like the rest of the champs do it. You've seen them in the newsreels. They got a big camp. They got fresh air. Place to their road work. Yeah, so sure, I get it. That takes dough and plenty of it. Where are we gonna get that? That's up to you, boys. I do the fighting, you do the worrying, see? Yeah, I see. I got it. A training camp in the country. Good food, fresh air, a lot of sleep, plenty of rain. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, I just said all that. But how are we gonna get it? Don't worry about it. Leave that to me. You do the fighting. I'll do the worrying. my new training camp. It won't be long now. Still don't get the angle. How'd you fix it, Danny? It was a cinch. Hey, nothing's too good for the Golden Gloves runner-up. I hope it's pretty soon. I'm hungry. Hey, I didn't get a chance to read all them papers I was signing. Who's paying for all this anyhow? Don't worry about it, will you? Everything's taken care of. Sure thing, Muggs. Danny's got us all in right. It ain't costing us a cent. We might even get paid. Paid? Oh, that's swell. I'll work the gate on a percentage basis. I'll see that you guys get a cut, too. That's swell of you, Muggs. Time. This is really a nice spot. A beautiful layout, I call it. What's the gymnasium, boys? Nice bunch of sparring partners. Well, what do we do now? Come on, let's get going. You're wasting time. Hey, bud, get my bag. Will you get a shower ready? Come on, let's get organized around here. Come on, fellas. Hey, you know you're not supposed to throw papers on the ground. Pick it up. Come on, come on, make it snappy. Hey, wait a minute. He don't have to pick it up unless he wants to. Yes, he does. It's a camp rule. Camp rule, huh? Well, I'm making the rules around it from now on. This is my camp, see? I'm sorry, but if you're going to stay here, you're going to have to do as you're told. I just lay you off. You get yourself in trouble. It's all right, it's all right. I'm going to stay around all right, but I'm going to do the telling. How do you like that? I don't like it. Do you? Oh, almost a trip. Now it's my turn. I'll tear that guy apart. Boom, 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 I'll tear him apart. Out. What's the matter? Save it later. Yeah, what's the guy think he is, a fighter? I don't know, but you're always one of the tough sparring partner. Well, now you got one. Take it easy, will you? Straighten up. That's more like it. Scudell, show these boys their bunks. Yes, sir. Put your bags away and report for your physical. Any trouble? I don't believe there'll be any more, Captain. I hope you're right. Make sure they get their physical. Yes, sir. Gee, mister, thanks yeah, a lot for... And pick up the bags. Pick up the bags. Pick up the bags! Hey, get the bag. That's me! Oh. Can you imagine such a thing? I look over the guy's shoulder and he plugs me. Boy, I'll keep him alone one of these days. I'll hit him so hard, I'll break his ankles. Yeah, imagine a thing like that. Hey, how much longer are we going to be able to kid Muggs about this place? I don't know. But I sure hope he sees it the way the rest of the fellas do when he finds out. He won't. After he's in a while and realizes that his mother's going to get that 22 bucks a month for support, he'll like it. I know my mother's glad she's going to get the dough. Yeah, but Muggs is going to have to work. I know he won't like that. 
exploiting me around here. What do they think I am, an octopus? I ain't got but two hands to give a body else. I'm getting sick of this. <sighs> they work me around here till I'm black in the face. Yeah, I never saw so many beds in my life. And they're all made, too. What are these for, my sparring partners? Yeah. Well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to start numbering them. See, I'll put the odd ones on this side, the even ones on that side. We'll start tomorrow morning, see, and we're going to start up with an odd number. You know, one this of the... Way, yes. Right this way, right this way, right down the way. coming. Come on, right here. Yeah, they're going to save us. Yeah, yeah, you have to hide and call running water here. Yeah, we got everything here. You might yeah, need... Huh? At the room service. Oh, everything's all right. That's good. I'll get to get there. With the way. track for a little workout, in case I want to make a little workout. Where's the track? All right, kid, you can come out now. Drop those bags. All right. Well, now, look, uh, you take that one, and one can take this one over here, and that wait, one... Wait, huh? wait a minute. I made a private room with a bed. Well, I don't know nothing about that. Don't worry about that now. We'll fix it up later. And so we're here for a while. Hey, listen. Yeah. We gotta have beds all together, see? Well, all I know is you gotta take bunks where there ain't nobody else sleeping. Yeah? We can put you boys close together. Some of the other fellas won't mind giving up their bunks. Hey, you're softening up already, huh? Lay off, Muggs. The doctor's waiting. You better get over for your physical exam. Physical? Don't make me laugh. Just look me over, that's all. Look, you're afraid. Afraid ain't afraid of nothing. Where's that doc? Lead me to him. Follow me. That's all, son. Never mind those guys, doc. I'm the one you're looking for. Quiet. Vaccinated lately? Sure, take a look. You'll get another shot. That's all. Thanks, Doctor. Hey, Doc, what's new? Vaccinated lately? Vaccinated? Look at that physique. I don't need no vaccination. You'll get a shot anyway. Right, really right, but I won't That's like all. it. Vaccinated? Yes. Yeah. Hey, lay off with your mugs. You want to get us in trouble? What's the matter? Ain't we supposed to be big shots around here? Hey, Doc! This stuff is awful. It must be spoiled. This is too much. Report to the captain. Look how excited he gets. Over oh, nothing he gets excited. I said report to the captain. Okay. All right. A couple of things I gotta tell the captain anyway. I don't like the way he's running this place. Have a drink, bud. Hey, Stooge, get my shirt, will you? I'm sure sunk now. Maloney, your case has been investigated by the Welfare Board, and they've certified that your mother is in need of the $22 monthly allotment, which will be paid to her. As far as the government is concerned, that's the reason that you're here. You mean this is a CCC camp and I gotta stay here about six months? Didn't you know what you were signing? Of course, if there's been any misunderstanding and you can get a better position, we'll give you a discharge. There are certain rules here that'll be explained to you. They're for the good of all. Anyone who violates them gives the other fellows a bad break. We also have school at night here. Many of the boys have found fine positions from what they've learned here. That's very nice. That's all, Maloney. Yes, sir. Hey, here he comes. So, this is a training camp, huh? You guys fix everything. Yeah, you're gonna fix everything. I'm gonna train for nothing. Now, wait a minute, Muggs. Listen, we had to do this. You wouldn't work or train or nothing. This way you can send your mother 22 bucks a month. She needs it. Listen to me, will you? It's only for a little while, Muggs. It'll put you in swell shape. Sure, you'll be a champ. We had to sign up, too, just to be with you. Yeah, and I suppose you're gonna stick with me, too. Well, let me tell you something, you double-crosser. The joke's on you, see? I just had a talk with the captain, and him and me are just like that. I'll own this camp in a week, and I'm staying, and you guys are staying with me. And what's more, I'm going to take that bed. Yeah, that's my book. Okay, you can have that one, Muggs. I'll even show you where to put your clothes. What's that for? That's first call for retreat. Retreat from what? Oh, uh, you remember how they told us they take down the flag and we salute it? Come on, we got to get going. All right, what are you waiting for? Come on. Put out 
that chin. Straighten that arm. When did you learn about all this saluting stuff? What do you think, I'm dumb? I used to bash a soldier bike. Hey, when do we eat? Ready! Come on! Understanding about the bunks? Any complaints to make? No, sir. Have you any complaints? No, sir. Fix your bunks and get into them. That's all. Hey, that was pretty squarey, Al, not squealing. Oh, forget it. But you and me still gotta settle this thing. That suits me. Hey, you shouldn't have socked him. Yeah, I was just taking the kinks out of my arm, that's all. Now if I can get a little road work in the morning. I think that can be arranged very nicely. No, I don't like the way he said that. You asked for it. Yeah, I asked for it. Where did I get a hold of that guy, Al? Hey, that team we this morning, I didn't see him working. He's on a sick report. A sick report? How do you ever fix that? All he does is go walking into the dock and say, <laughs> Ah, you couldn't get away with that. No? I'm gonna. Stop making me laugh. Just wait till we go in for lunch this afternoon. I'm gonna walk right up to the dock and I'm gonna say, Doc, my trout's awful sore this afternoon. So then I'll give you a cough drop.
Well, here goes. Man, ain't you gonna eat first? No, maybe the doctor's gonna give me a special diet. I think it'll help, and he can mention my name. What's it say, doctor? 108. Is that good? Why does it hurt the most? Right here. I mean here. Right here. You can't leave the camp this afternoon. I'll give you a note to give to the foreman. Thanks a lot, Doctor. That's all right, son. I'm here to do all I can for you boys. Yes, sir. Maybe they put him in solitary, huh? It worked! It worked! It worked! No kid, no kid! Okay, let's go! I can't! Why? You're in a bad way, aren't you? Yeah, pretty bad. Hold him till I take care of the semblance. Here's what the doctor ordered. Exercise. <laughs> but, but you mean I can't... All right, all right, big boy, hop to it. Go on. <laughs> but these are trees! Shut those fellas up there, guys. Oh, that's the forestry crew working. You know, someday those boys are going to get a good job with the government. I'd go nuts with a job like that myself. How do you roll along with the poisonous trees? That ain't for me. Take five! Take five what? That means five minutes rest. Rest? Oh, that's great. Hey, boys, want to go up and see that tree fall? Okay. Come on, let's go. really gonna make some noise when yeah, it goes. Man, look at them oh, chips fly.
Are you all right? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah, you'll be a little more careful where you're walking next time. You all right, Muggs? Yeah, yeah, okay? yeah, I'm all right. Gee, that was quick thinking, fella. That was nothing. Ah, oh, gee, Muggs, that was swell of you. I sure had you wrong. Anybody would have done the same thing. That don't mean you and me still ain't got some things to settle between us, see? Hey, we'll let the captain decide that. That's all for today. Come on, boys. You could have put no little debt in my skull. No matter how you feel about it, Maloney, it was a very brave act. You deliberately risked your life to save another's. It wasn't nothing. Oh, yes, it was. You saw what had to be done, and you did it, regardless of the risk. You know, you're a lot better man than you even think you are. Quit you kidding, will you? I'm not. I was never more serious in my life. I think this camp is going to be the means of your finding yourself. Go on, I ain't even lost. I feel that you should be granted something in return. Oh, not exactly a reward, but rather an extra privilege. Now, what would you like? I'd like to have a chance to square things with this owl guy. All right, put up the ring. That ought to settle it. Yes, sir. Come on, we gotta make plans. Yeah, yeah. Thanks, Captain. Captain, how are you? Okay. What's all the activity about? Uh -oh. Private fight. Oh, mind if I stay and look it over? No, not at all. Come on. It's going to be a good one. By the way, here's some passes for the fights Wednesday night. Thought some of the kids might like to see them. Oh, thanks, Norton. You know, you've been mighty nice to the boys around here. Well, I'm getting a free pass for one of their private fights. <laughs> private is right. <laughs> now, remember what I tell you, Mums. Carry the fight to them. But go easy. That right hand of his is packed full of dynamite. So feel him out for the first round. Hey, what do you think? They let me join a cook school. Boy, will I eat now. Yeah, running out of me, huh? I suppose Skinny will be next. All he's been doing... Forget the... it. Forget about it. We got more important things to think about. Come on, I'm going to see if they're set yet. Come on. Me, you don't have to. I think they got like a camera taking a picture. It's not that, Muggs. I can't tell you. Oh, come on and load. You'll feel better. I just can't tell you. I gotta take it by myself. We're pals, ain't we? Yeah. Well, then come on. Maybe I can help you. Would you, Muggs? Sure thing. It's my brother. My aunt's been taking care of us since we were little kids. We ain't got any parents. My brother got in a jam, Muggs. He needs a lot of dough quick and... I don't know where to get it or where to go or... Well, you can't get no money up here. What's the matter? Haven't they been sending home that 22 bucks a month? Yeah, but it ain't enough. He needs a lot of doing. He needs it quick, and I don't know where to go. All right, quit through him, quit through him. We'll work something out together. Gee, you're a swell fella, Mux. That makes two of us to think so. Hey, Mux! Yeah? Come on, they're ready. Okay, be right there. Come on, kid, I'll let you watch a first-class slaughter.
one thing. This is going to be a clean fight, great clean, and may the best man win. Okay. Now remember, go out there and spar and look out for that right of his. It's awful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>
All right, fellas, step lively. Come on. All right, get up there, quick. Up in front. Let's go. All right, get up this row here. Let's go. All right, come on. Hey, you. You're not going out with the gang today. Why? Right, what's the matter? Orders. Orders, huh? Well, maybe I need a rest. Maybe I'm working too hard, huh? That's fine. Thanks. <laughs> All right, let's load up. Hey, Willie. You went with Anita. Went on vacation myself, you know. Hey, what's eating you? Well, I... Cut it out, Willie. You know the orders. What is this anyway? Hi, fellas. Wanna do some road work? You treat me like I was a forgotten man. I wonder what's wrong with the fellows today, Captain. They all treat me as though I got smallpox or something. The boys have decided to punish you for your bad sportsmanship last night. They don't like it, and this is their way of showing it. You mean they ain't gonna talk to me or nothing? That's it. However, you can work off your punishment on that wood pile over there. Yes, sir. You're in on it, too. I am not. Never mind those other guys. They can't take it. Show them you can. That's nice of you, Danny. You'll have to get in trouble even talking to me. I get in trouble. So what? We're still pals, ain't we? Yeah. Yeah. Hey! My eyes deceiving me? Wait a minute, son. Got a little business to do out here. Wait a minute. You know women and fighting don't mix. Who says anything about fighting with her? Hi, babe. Well, hello. Hey, how would you like me to show you around the place personally? Why, I think that would be very nice. Well, you do, huh? It'll take me a little while to get dialed up. Will we wait here about five minutes? Well, do you think the captain would approve? The captain? <laughs> Between you and me, I got a nice job here through politics. Just wrote to a couple of congressmen friends of mine. Oh, is that so? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's very interesting. It is, huh? Well, you just wait here. I'll be right back. See, now, don't leave. You just wait right there. <laughs> yes, thank you. Goodbye. Oh, hello, Elaine. Thought you said you couldn't make it today. Well, I'm here. I just met the most amusing boy outside. You did? Who is he? He's the young man who got you your job here through great political influence. Political? <laughs> oh, that couldn't be anybody but Muggs Maloney. Well, whoever it is, he certainly is running around out of control. No, not entirely. The boy has some good stuff in him, only it has to be brought out the hard way. What do you mean? Really has to learn how to fight it out with himself instead of fighting with others. You know, I think he's the type who'd respond more quickly to kind treatment. Do you want the job? <laughs> I've already taken it. He's meeting me here in five minutes to show me around the camp. <laughs> well, don't blame me if you get your feelings right.
Hey, this is sure a lot of country to be all in one place, ain't it? Yes, it is. And it's a wonderful country, too. Men are doing great things here. Men who just a few years ago were boys like you. Hey, cut it out, will you, babe? That ain't what I came here to talk about. No? What are your ideas? <laughs> well, I, uh... Uh... Say, uh, you live in town, don't you? Yes. Yeah, well, that's fine. Uh, uh, how would you like to come and visit me some afternoon? Oh, I'd like that. Yeah, yeah, I sure would. All right, it's uh, 37 Pine Avenue, just a few blocks from the center of town. Oh, well, I'll be there. I'll be there pretty quick, you see. Uh, all I'll have to do is I got a few things to talk to the captain about first, and then uh, you just put out the welcome mat and sit on a stoop. I mean, I'll be there later. <laughs> captain, excuse me. Could I come in? Why, certainly, Muggs. Come right in. Captain, I've been thinking things over, and, uh, well, I'd like to reform. Well, I mean, I've been causing a lot of trouble since I came to camp, and I've been arguing with some things. From now on, I mean, I'd like to try to get along with the fellas, you know, kind of turn over a new leaf. Uh, well, uh, that's about it, I guess. Well, uh, I'm mighty glad to hear you say that, Muggs. Thanks, Captain. Thanks. Say, uh, do you think, uh, well, uh, could I go to town Saturday? Well, I wasn't going to let you, but after what you said, you can go. Thanks, Captain, thanks. You'll be sorry. Why didn't you tell us you were going into town today? You said I was. Nobody needs to say so. Look at you. And we refused leave so as to be here with you. Well, that's your tough luck. I know where you're going. You're going down to see the fight manager in town. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's it. The fight manager got a little business talk over him. That's why I gotta go alone, see? No. Oh, you don't, huh? Well, uh, well, don't worry about me, boys. I'll be right back. Flowers, flowers, get nice fresh flowers here picked this morning. Fresh, fresh flowers? Anyone here have flowers, mister? Oh, they're nice, very nice. Yes, indeed. Flowers, step right up, folks, get brand new. Hey, what's in bloom, son? Well, we got some nice sweet peas here. What are you doing here, Scruno? Well, I'm just making some extra folding money on my day off. How much are they? Two bits. That's fine, I owe you. Oh, no, 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 no. That's two bits to you, too. How much? Oh, 15 cents. I can't hear you so good. All right, a dime. That's much better, that's much better. Hey, where's Pine Street? Uh, two blocks down and one block over. Yeah, you can make the profit up on the next customer. Yeah? <laughs> well, listen, it don't make no difference, see, because I got these out of the neighbor's yard. Well, flowers, step right up, folks. That's why you should. Anyhow, they don't smell so good. Well, they did a while ago. How would you like me to tell the neighbors where all the flowers is disappearing to? Oh, blackmail. You want me to tell? <laughs> it's all right with me, because next week I'm in the watermelon business.
I'll see you in a minute. Hello, Maloney. Been with us over tonight? Yeah, just wandering around. That was a great fight you put on the other day. Yeah. Yeah, it was pretty good, wasn't it? Got a spot for you if you want to go on tonight. Eh, no. Uh, I guess not. Thanks just the same. Well, if you change your mind, come on back. You not be afraid of me. Oh, what's the matter with you? What have you been up to? Nothing. Quit lying. I'm in an awful jam, Muggs. All right, spill it. I swiped a hundred bucks from the captain's office. A hundred bucks? Yeah. Well, we gotta get it back there. We can't. Why? I sent it to my aunt. Sent it to your aunt? Yeah. How did you ever expect to get away with that? I didn't. I was scramming when you caught up with me. You gotta help me, Muggs. You gotta get what me out of that. What do you expect me to do? Take the rap for you? No, but I figured you might be able to get me out of bucks, huh? Yeah. Hundred bucks. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I can raise that. Yeah? Maybe I can. But you and me will settle this business later, see? Come on! Hey, Mr. Norton. How about that ballot? Oh, so you did change your mind, eh? Yeah, yeah, how about it? All right, go on to the dressing room. Thanks. I gotta have a hundred bucks. Say, what do you think this is, the big time? No, no, but I gotta have it. No, well, later on I'll find a couple of free ones for you, but tonight I just gotta have a hundred bucks. All right, I'll give you the hundred if you stay six rounds, and from now on I handle you. Yeah, but I gotta manage you, eh? All right, okay, it's a deal. <laughs> He didn't want us to, did he? Quit worrying, will you? He's probably having a lot better time right now than we are. Kids, I'm gonna have the anchors. No, you're yeah, not. This fight's going six rounds. Yeah. Now listen, you're too good a boy. I don't want you to get hurt. I'll give you the hundred. Quit worrying. Nothing to it. I've been double crossed once today. You said six rounds and I'm sticking. Yeah. Just lucky, that's all. Sir, sir, you'll take him the next time. Hey, Muggs, how are we going to get back to the camp? I'll send you back in my car, boys. Gee, thanks. Are you 
you sure you got it now, Muggs? It's the key in the top left-hand drawer of the desk. That left-hand drawer? Yeah. Gee, Muggs, I'm the one that should go in there now, but, but I'm scared to go in there. They don't even mess things up anyway. Yeah. You better look out. What's wrong? Nothing. Come on, something's wrong. Spill it. Nothing, I tell you. Nothing. You're going to tell me what's wrong? Nothing. Come on, what is it? Muggs was caught robbing the safe. Robbing the safe? Muggs never stole nothing in his life. Muggs, I'm willing to give you every break. Haven't you anything to say for yourself? I guess not. You caught me and, well, that's it, ain't it? Muggs, you didn't do it, did you? Now you keep out of this. But he didn't do it. He ain't no crook. I've given him every chance to speak in his own defense and he's refused. Tomorrow you'll appear at a formal hearing. Unless you have something to offer in your own defense at that time, I'll be forced to give you a dishonorable discharge. That's all. Yes, sir. Why won't you talk, Muzz? We know you didn't do it. Where are you going? Ain't you going to stay for the trial? Yeah, baloney that trial stuff. I'm leaving right now. Oh, but where are you going to go? What are you going to do? I can take care of myself. Oh, sure you can, Muggs, but this is different. We ain't never been separated before. Th there's something wrong about the whole thing. Gee, Muggs, I'm awfully sorry about what... Maybe I ought to. Yeah, but kid, I've been in chance before, and I got out of them, and I'll get out of this one. Oh, sure you can, but what do your mother think? My mother won't know anything about it, unless you squeal. Oh, I ain't gonna squeal, but where are you gonna go? I told you before, I've been in lots of jams. Yeah, but not for stealing. Muggs, I thought you were going to come and see me. I did. She was out. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, how about coming now? Eh, got to see a man about a job. You wouldn't refuse a lady, would you? Besides, I really want to talk to you. Well, if you insist. But I can't stay for long. Listen, Muggs, why don't you go back and have a talk with the captain? He said all there was to say the other night. He doesn't think so. Well, what do you mean? Captain White had a lot of faith in you, Muggs, and he still wants to have it. He thinks there's something behind all this that you're not telling him about. How could there be anything behind it? He saw me there, that door was in my mitt and the safe was open. What is it, Muggs? Why don't you tell me? Is it worth giving up everything for? What about Danny and your pals? Think how hard you're making it for them. Uh, 
cut it out, will you? I think I'd better go. I wish you wouldn't. Well, I gotta, gotta see Mr. Norton about a fight. You know, how the government ain't support me, I gotta keep expenses down. Muggs, please. Jim, it's no use. He's stuck to his story. But I could see that underneath his heart was breaking, not because he's guilty, but because there's something he can't or won't tell. I felt the same way about it. But if he won't tell the truth, what are we going to do? Excuse me, Captain. Can I see you for a minute? It's very important. Sunday, come right in, Danny. Well, it's like this. We've all been pretty dumb, especially me. How, Danny? Well, the other night, when Muggs... I mean, when something woke me up, I thought it was Muggs. But it wasn't. It was Willie, just coming to bed. Yes? It was late, and he was still dressed. Now, how did he know what had happened? He told me what Muggs was doing before anybody else in the camp knew about it. Why was he dressed? And how did he know? Well, suppose we ask Willie those questions. Yes, sir, I'll get him. Hey, Willie! Captain wants to see you. to my aunt, but I ain't got no aunt. Nothing. Come on, what are we waiting for? We gotta find Muggs before something happens to him. He's desperate. He's Mr. lost Mr. Norton might know where he is. I'll phone him. Hello, operator. Give me the Norton fight arena. Yes? Yes? Thank you. They say that Norton is out, but that Muggs is fighting at the arena tonight. Danny, it looks as though we're going to see a fight. Boy, you're going great. You're even better than you were at the camp. Hey, 
I said, I told you I was good last time. I thought this guy just had an off night, that's all. Now you're talking. <laughs> you ready to go ahead and soften that? Yeah, yeah, I'll be moited this time, boy. That's tough. Besides Maloney, there's something else. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pal? Put it there, pal. How do you like that? I don't like it. See <laughs> you? Here we go again, boys. Uh -huh. 